Hi, good evening. Um, I'm going to continue on with a, a, uh, a little fill-in uh, video that I think might be um, uh, handy for some for some uh, machinist um, that, that are not aware of um, what I'm going to tell you. Um, I, I was searching eBay uh, or a couple of years ago and I came across this um, homemade vice. Uh, it was uh, on one of the machinist uh, uh, sites and um, I liked the look of it and I didn't have a, a, a really nice uh, ground uh, vice so I uh, placed a bid on it and uh, I actually won it. And when I received it, I was pleasantly surprised. Um, it's um, it's uh, hardened all over, and it was made, I would presume, by a tool and dime maker, probably European, maybe. Um, and his name is Dono Re... Dono Re... Reef... Reefto. Dono Reefto. And he's put a... A, uh, a date on the side here. And it's 9.28.66. Um, the reason that I'm showing you this is because it has a nice feature which uh, I hadn't seen before and um, it's a slightly different from the regular kind of design that you can purchase on eBay and some of these Chinese sites and um, instead of having holes equally spaced along each side um, for pulling out the pin and moving the jaws. Uh, this uh, vice, I'll see if I can get it plainly for you. If you look underneath, instead of having the holes with the, with the pin going through, um, it has an insert in the whole length with the slot for clearance uh, in the middle, but it's um, uh, what's the what would be the word serrated? Um, it's like a rack, uh, except that it's um, it's in the V form, and the pad here um, also has a um, uh, a, a the same thing on the inside. And it allows you to, if I can, if I can get it in the right place, it allows you to move it along in very small increments. Um, so it's um, really very, very nicely made. And the actual strip in there, and maybe this will show it up a bit better. Uh, there we go. Maybe that, maybe you can see it better like that. Um, it may be too shiny, I don't know. But it's a really, really nice feature. Um, so I was really pleasantly surprised. I, I think I paid about $141 US for it. And... To me, it's quite a good deal. Um, it's it's uh, two inches wide, I think. I, my eyesight is not really good. This is not a good... No, two and a quarter. It's two and... Two and three eighths, sorry. Two and three eighths. And it opens up to... I've got it on this cloth, so it's a bit difficult to... Ah, come on! <laughs> ah, 
idea. Huh. Come on, that's it. Opens up to uh, around. <clears throat> Everything is awkward. Eyesight is bad. Ha! <laughs> Come on! It's almost three. Two and seven eighths. One, two, yeah, two and seven eighths. So it's not a great big vice, but it's a nice size for a tag or a small mini, uh, mini mill. So anyway, I'll get to the, the point of, um, of this little video. And um, it's about squaring off a block on all six faces. And the normal, I guess the normal procedure is to, uh, I've got a ground block here. Um, and this is just for an example. Uh, say you cut off a chunk of, uh, of steel, I don't know, an inch thick and inch and a half wide uh, by say six inches long well you do the four faces uh, in the normal manner of using the one face that goes up against the fixed jaw and using that as your datum to uh, go around and machine your four faces and when it comes to the the fifth and sixth face, which would be say the six inch length, um, you can do it with um, by side milling, um, uh, providing you've got a long enough M mill, um, or you can you can set it up in the vise in that manner. Six inches would be too high anyway. Um, it's not safe, but say for instance this one here, which is about I don't know two inches, inch and inch and three quarter, two inches high. You could set it up in the vise like that, and you could use a square to square it up um, in the vertical position, and then machine one face, and then you take it out and you could machine the other face. Well. Um, you don't have a lot of in a lot of uh, vices. You don't have a lot of material on the on the sides, on the outside edges to to put your square on and and make sure that it's per, it's perfectly square. Um, so um, this was about 15 years ago. Somebody showed me this, and I thought, boy, what a a great idea. Um, and so, say we've got um, the four faces. Are machined square off of this face, this uh, fixed face here on the vise, and now we want to do the fifth and the sixth uh, face. Now this all depends on the the squareness of your vise. If you've got a, a vise like this, which is ground all over, uh, especially if it's an industrial one like a Kurt or something like that, then you can guarantee pretty much that these these faces are square. Um, so you get your block and after you've done the four faces you then place the block in there and say you cut it off and there's an angle on the block. Well that doesn't matter because even if this block is sitting over at an angle uh, let's see if I can tighten it up Let's see. Okay. Huh. Oh dear. Okay. So, say the block is sitting like that. It doesn't really matter. As long as these two faces here are square, then um, all you do is this is the highest the highest edge even if it's at an angle down that way if you get your mill and you mill the top edge here which is the highest point 
and and feed down until you've got a complete clean up from that end to that end okay it doesn't matter about this being not machined as long as that you've got one one part of this face which is square with these two sides um, when you if you think about it you now have a right angle because that's cleaned up and it doesn't matter if this is is all bare and hasn't the machine the, the cutter hasn't touched you then turn this over and you place it like that and you tighten it up in your jaw and you clean this face up until it's clean and, gr and, and machined all over now if you take this and place this back in here and tighten it up again you then have the edge that was cleaned up here and you just machine down and to your desired height or until it's clean until it's been machined right across and now you have a block that is square on all six sides so I just thought um, it's a bit awkward to explain I tried to explain it to a, a, uh, a group that I belong to and um, it turned into a saga because people couldn't understand the principle of it but I've, I figured that if you see it um, you will understand what I'm trying to say so that's my point the, it, I'll do it again you've got four sides machined and square but you've got the two ends could be at an angle doesn't matter you place it in there as long as your jaws are square you place it in there and even if it's tipped over like that it doesn't matter as soon as you clean that edge up you have a right angle okay and when you take it out you place that flat down and that's that machined edge is the only part that's going to touch the bottom of your vise and so when you tighten up everything is square that allows you to clean this face completely and once you've got that cleaned you then turn it around damn, and then machine the other face and you have a block that is square Yeah. Okay, so you've turned it around, you've cleaned that face up, turn it around, clamp it up, and clean this face up, and now you have a block that is square on all six faces. Okay? So, uh, that's just a little fill in that I thought I'd do because I'm stuck with this uh, same old same old thing waiting waiting for stuff to arrive uh, can't get any information about whether it's in the mail or not so I'm kind of pissed off a little bit but so I thought I'd do this instead just to keep you you may be interested okay thank you I'll close off now